and basically fear people into you know, this anti-gun <coughs> position. Um, I couldn't really understand at first why it was happening or how it was happening, so I started to research and I started to really take a look at propaganda and the fear tactics and the strategies that are used to convince people who don't really know any better, people who aren't necessarily gun owners, but to fear them into this, you know, this anti-gun position. So I talk a lot about the mindset, the thought process, and um, I'll get into you know, ways that the, the, the media is deceitful in this whole, in this whole conversation, um, how they shape the narrative, to instill an irrational fear in people and uh, an unjust hatred toward gun owners. You know, we hear all the time, we hear, you know, the blood is on your hands or, you know, the NRA is killing babies. We hear all this stuff all the time. We know it's not true, but um, they believe it because they don't, that's all they get. That's all the information that they get. So I talk about that, those strategies, I talk about uncovering those strategies, how we can understand them, how we can understand how the anti-gun crowd thinks and how we can help them or defeat them because some of them will need to be defeated because uh, they will not change their position. Some of them, however, can be helped and we can explain, like Josh was saying, we can talk to them, we can have conversations with these people and it's uh, it can be a friendly conversation. Now, we're not, Used to that, a lot of it's yelling and screaming back and forth, but hopefully, once we understand the strategies, once we understand how they think, uh, we can have better conversations. So, that's it in a nutshell.